हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू विष्णु आईएएस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर रिवीजन डे टेन इन द सेम यूट्यूब चैनल दैर इज अनदर फ्री क्रैश कोर्स फॉर फिल्म ट्वेंटी बाय विष्णु सर ही विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फिल्म ओरिएंटेड टॉपिक जॉइन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू गेट इन्फो अबाउट द डेली करंट अफेयर्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन पेपर मुच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज आर आर द एग्जाम्पल और एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ केमिकल चेंज क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ऑफ सोडियम क्लोरेट मेल्टिंग ऑफ आइस सोडियम ऑफ मिल्क सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर यूजिंग द कोर्स गिवन बिलो वन एंड टू वन इ थ्री ऑल ऑफ दिस नन ऑफ दिस एंड योर आंसर इज बी दट इज वन थ्री दट इज ओनली सोरिंग ऑफ मिल्क इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ केमिकल चेंज एंड अदर टू आर फिजिकल चेंज लेट सी द एक्सप्लेनेशन क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ऑफ सोडियम क्लोरेट इज अ फिजिकल चेंज एंड नो केमिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस मेल्टिंग ऑफ आइस इज ऑल्सो अ फिजिकल चेंज वेर it to, it change its physical appearance to liquid and uh, soaring of milk is a chemical change as bacteria activates the formation of lactic acid which turns milk sour okay so according to this answer is b next is from 2017 question paper consider the following in respect of indian ocean naval symposium ions inaugural ions was held in india in 2015 under the chairmanship of indian navy ions is a voluntary initiative that seeks to increase the maritime cooperation among the navies of the littoral states of the indian ocean region which of the st above statements is r or correct only one only two both one and two neither one nor two and your answer is b that is only two only second statement is correct that is ions is an voluntary initiative that seeks an increase to increase the maritime cooperation among the navies of the littoral states of the indian ocean littoral states is uh, region lying along a shore that is a littoral region okay and your answer explanation is the indian ocean naval symposium which is known as ions is a series of biennial meetings among the littoral states of indian ocean region and this uh ions provides a forum to increase the maritime security cooperation and it also provides a forum for discussion of regional maritime issues and it promotes a friendly relationship among the member nations okay and uh, membership is there are 35 member navies of the ions in which have been geographically grouped in the following four sub uh, regions okay one is south asian littorals west asian littorals east african littorals and south east asian and austrian australian littorals okay the inaugural of ions 2018 was held in new delhi india on 14 feb 2008 okay so according to this first statement is wrong okay and uh, the updated info about this ions is third meeting of ions working group on human humanitarian assistance and disaster relief hadr was held at the headquarters eastern naval command visakhapatnam from 27 to 28 september 2018 okay and the members of this iwg that is ions working group iwg members includes australia bangladesh france india indonesia iran oman and thailand participated in the event where the guidelines on hdr for ions nations prepared by the indian navy was validated okay Let's see the next question from 2011 question paper. The lowering of bank rate by the Reserve Bank of India leads to more liquidity in the market, less less liquidity in the market, no change in the liquidity in the market, mobilization of more deposits by commercial banks. Okay, and your answer is A. That is more liquidity in the market. Let's see the explanation. bank rates refers to the interest rate charged by central bank that is rbi on loans granted to commercial bank okay bank rate is the interest rate by rbi to commercial banks okay so when the bank rate is lowered by the rbi banks borrowing cost decreases that is less interest okay which in turn increase the supply of money in the market okay so there will be more liquidity in the market Next is 2012 question. Mahatma Gandhi undertook fast unto death in 1932 mainly because Round Table Conference failed to satisfy Indian political aspirations. Congress and Muslim League had differences of opinion. Ramsey McDonald announced the communal award. And fourth option is none of the above. That is all the three 
didn't match up with the question okay and your question is mahatma gandhi took fast and to death in 1932 what is the reason for that and your answer is c okay that is ramsey met donald announced the communal award let's see the explanation ramsey met donald announced the communal award in 1932 reserving the seats for depressed classes that is similar to separate electorate as provided to muslim gandhi ji was deeply grieved by this and declared fast and to death on the next day to protest this award he believed that the award aimed to divide india on communal basis the reason for his fasting was the caste separation which he was protesting He started his fast on 16 September 1932 while he was in Erwada jail which located in Mumbai now. The British at that time were planning to differentiate India on the basis of their caste system which was which was completely opposed by Gandhi. He believed that by doing so the division will be unfair and would scar Indian forever. He continued his fast for 6 days until British government changed their plans. Okay. This is 2018 question If a commodity is provided free to the public by the government then opportunity cost is zero or the opportunity cost is ignored or the opportunity cost is transferred from the consumers of the product to the tax paying public the opportunity cost is transferred from the consumers of the product to the government so which of the given option is correct if a commodity is provided free to the public by the government okay and your answer is c that is opportunity cost is transferred from consumer of the product to the tax paying public let's see the explanation opportunity cost represents the benefits of an individual investor or business misses out on when choosing one alternative over the other so when you have the opportunity to access public services for free okay this would always come at the cost of somebody paying for it okay so in this case the tax payer bears the opportunity cost okay let's see the next question that is Question number six from two thousand thirteen question paper. Some Buddhist rock cut caves are called chaityas, while others called viharas. What is the difference between the two? What is the difference between chaityas and viharas? Vihara is a place of worship, while chaitya is a dwelling place of the monks. Chaitya is a place of worship, while vihara is a dwelling place of monks. Or chaitya is a stupa of the, at the far end of the cave, while vihara is a hall axial to it. There is no material difference between the two that is no difference okay so let's see the answer answer is b that is chaitya is a place of worship while vihara is the dwelling place of the monks okay i have provided you the picture first picture no this one is a uh, this one is chaitya and this one is vihara and this is the development of chaitya arch okay various periods they have given and let's see the explanation the buddhist architecture is mainly consists of chaityas viharas stupa and stambhas there are two uh, mainly two types of distinct architecture related to the caves okay related to caves two architecture one is chaitya and viharas chaityas were the place of worship in buddhism where viharas is the dwelling place of the monks chaitya is a hall okay or uh, it's called chaitya griha or chaitya refers to a shrine sanctuary temple or a prayer hall in indian religions the term is most commonly used in buddhism where it refers to a space with the stupa and around rounded apse at the end of end opposite uh, the entrance and a high roof with a rounded profile okay this is the this is the explanation of this picture okay next is vihara is generally refers to a monastery of buddhist okay the concept is ancient and in early sanskrit and pali text it meant any agreement of space or facilities for pleasure and entertainment the term evolved into an architectural con- concept wherein it refers to a living quarters for monks with an open shared space or courtyard particularly in buddhism okay this is viharas okay let's see the next question this is from 2015 question paper which one of the following countries of the southwest asia does not open to mediterranean sea okay those who are following this uh, class uh, i mean this mcqs continuously from day 1 today is dated you can find this is the third question regarding mediterranean sea so when on the day one we saw one question about the mediterranean sea so if you remember that question and the mnemonics what i taught you on that day it will be useful for you to answer this question also so there is a repetition of some patterns of question that is about mediterranean sea if you have thorough with the mediterranean sea then it will be easy for you to answer the other two questions in the other two years also okay 
So let's see the uh, question and the explanation. Which one of the following countries of Southwest Asia does not, okay, they are asking does not, okay, not, you should be very careful with the not, okay, does not open out to the Mediterranean Sea. Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Israel, okay. So do you remember that map and uh, the mnemonics, then it will be easy, okay. Uh, these are the countries which are surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea, okay, and the answer is actually B, that is, Jordan is wrong. Syria, Lebanon, Israel, these are all surrounded by Mediterranean Sea, okay, but this Jordan is not part of it, okay. Let's see the explanation. Spain, France, Monaco, Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Albania, Greece, Turkey. This is northern shown. That is when you see the map, it is from west to east. Then Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, eastern shore from north to south. Then Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, then southern shore from east to west. Malta and Cyprus are the island countries in the sea. Okay, for to remember all these countries, I told you the mnemonics. For this one, first one, first option, S, FMS, CBH, Magnet, Tesla B, L, Tam. For third option, a third, okay. Let's see the same thing with the map. It will be easy for you to find out, okay. So, if you see the map, from the options, okay, that is Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Israel, okay. So, when you see here, you can find Syria, okay, Syria, Jordan, Jordan is not there, it is not covering Mediterranean Sea, okay, it is back, okay, so Syria, Lebanon and Israel, so all these three is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea, but Jordan is not surrounded by Mediterranean Sea. Okay, so answer is Jordan. Let's see the question from 2019. With reference to the Mian Tansen, which one of the following statement is not correct? You should be again concentrate on the word not. Okay, it is not correct. Tansen was a title given by given to him by Emperor Akbar. Tansen composed Drupadas on Hindu gods and goddesses. Tansen composed songs on his patterns. Tansen invented many ragas, okay, and your answer is, it is A, okay, let's see the explanation of this, okay, Tansen title was given to him by Emperor Akbar, okay, this is wrong, let's see the explanation, okay, Tansen, also referred to as Tansen or Ramtanu, was a prominent figure of Hindustani classical music, okay, Tansen was a title given to him by Raja Vikramajit of Gwalior. Tansen was a court musician in the Darbar of Raja Ramachandra of Bandavagar or Riva. Okay, Tansen is remembered for his epic Drupad compositions, creating several new ragas also, as well as for writing two classical books on music, that is Sri Ganesh Totra and Sangeet Sara. Okay, Tansen, he is a prominent figure of Hindustani classical music. He is born in a Hindu family and he learned and perfected his art in the northwest region of modern Madhya Pradesh. Then he began his career and, spo uh, and spent uh, most of his life in the court and under the Hindu king of Riva, of Raja Ramachandra Singh, where Tansen's musical abilities and studies gained widespread fame. So this reputation brought him to the attention of the uh, our Mughal king Akbar, who sent messengers to the Raja Ramachandra Singh, requesting Tansen to join the musicians at the Mughal court. But Tansen did not want to go, but... Uh, the king, okay, Raja Ramachandra, he encouraged him to gain a wider audience and sent him along with the gifts to Akbar. Okay, he sent many gifts. Along with the gifts, he sent this Tansen also. In 1562, about the age of 60, the Vaishnava musician Tansen joined the Akbar court and his performance became a subject of many court historians. This is from 2016 question paper. In the cities of our country, which among the following atmospheric gases are normally considered in calculating the value of AQI, that is air quality index? Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, methane. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A, 1, 2, 1, 3. B, 2, 1, 3 and 4. C, 1, 4 and 5. D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is all. Okay. Let's see the answer. Answer is B. That is... 2, 3 and 4 alone is correct. Okay. Let's see the 
explanation. In the year 2015, AQI has been brought into use. Air quality index is a tool to showcase air quality status. It transforms complex air quality data of various pollutants in a single number and color. AQI has six categories of air quality. Okay, that is good, satisfactory, moderately polluted, poor, very poor and severe. Okay, eight pollutants namely, okay, particulate matter, PM10, PM2.5, ozone, okay, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, lead, ammonia, acts as a major parameters in deriving the AQI of an area. Okay, so according to this, carbon dioxide is not the uh, one among the eight pollutants okay let's see the 2010 question which one of the following authorities makes a recommendation to the governor of state as to the principles for determining the taxes and duties which may be appropriated by the panchayats in that particular state district planning committee state finance commission and uh, finance ministry of the state panchayat raj ministry of that state and your answer is B that is state finance commission let's see the explanation okay state finance commission reviews the financial position of the panchayats in a state and makes a recommendation to the governor okay the recommendations will be sent to the governor about the principles that should govern the distribution of tax proceeds that is taxes duties levies toll frees collected by the state between the state and its panchayat raj institutions at all three levels that is village level block level and the district level and article 243i okay the constitution of financial commission to review the financial position the governor of a state okay this one this remaining part is all about the constitution 243 you should be thorough with this the governor of the state shall as soon as may be within one year from the commencement of the constitution that is 73rd amendment act 1992 and thereafter at the expiration of every fifth year constitute a financial finance commission to review the financial position of the panjayats and to make recommendations to the governor okay so what recommendation they will make is the principles which should govern the distribution between the state and the panjayats of the net proceeds of the taxes duties tolls and fees levyable by the state which may be divided between them under this part and the allocation between the panjayats at all levels irrespective of their of their all levels of their uh, respective shares of such proceeds the determination of taxes, duties, tolls and fees which may be assigned to and appropriated by the panchayats. The grants and aid to the panchayats from the consolidated fund of the state. This is all about 243i article. So answer is state finance commission. That's all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Do subscribe our channel. Thank you.